It's the only time he ever talked trash to me because he respected me because he knew that I was gonna keep coming. That really taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, I was yeah, bro, you gotta, hey, you gotta show they got it. He not gonna respect you as a rookie if you don't show you got it. You're a rookie. You have to earn your stripes, bro. It's just like in the army or anything in life. There's levels, bro. And yeah, he ain't gonna respect you, especially for for you to be a rookie. Is like, nigga, who are you? The fuck? He was like, bitch. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back. It's your boy Skylar, and today we're reacting to Larry Bird trash talking, right? I didn't even know Larry Bird be on that type of timing. I felt like he's one of those, like, silent killers, you know what I'm saying? Like, just pass him the ball and like, he'll take care of it. Like, I thought he was those type of players. I did not know he was, like, talking shit. To that point where we have a video that's 11 minutes long of him talking shit. So, yeah, we're gonna check it out. And also, make sure you like, subscribe. Yeah, we're gonna get right into it. If you haven't seen it, I did my first Larry Bird reaction, the ultimate mixtape. First time ever seeing Larry Bird ever play. So I'm gonna link it there and you can check it out. So yeah, let's get it. So we playing him in the last the last play. He says uh to James Worthy, he says, You guys don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna go right over there at that corner. <laughs> he said, They're gonna set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm gonna curl right over. And he's telling us to play. Damn. He's telling us to play Savage. before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ? the late, great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out. The man curled right to the corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three, what? game over. It. <laughs> it's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> Shake yeah, I mean, I mean, that is to show y'all, y'all defense, y'all defense sucks. Like, what do you, if someone is telling you their play, right, and it's credible information, why would you not adjust your defense to that play? Why would you leave Larry Bird wide open for that shot? <laughs> come on, bro. What do you expect? Like, what do you expect to happen? Like, come on. You're kidding me. <laughs> he was shake wide open. I'm a rookie. I'm playing against the Boston Celtics in the Boston Garden. Mm -hmm. Go shake. And Larry put both hands behind his back. Damn, it's like that? Hand. I said, okay, he's just getting into the game. <laughs> First play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in this league, Holmes. And he shoots a three. Now, I wasn't mad that he made the three. But I said, did this some bitch this called me Holmes? <laughs> now you meant to say, young nigga, the fuck? You don't belong here, boy. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and Bro, having Larry Bird call you Holmes, that has to go down in the books, bro. You just imagine that, bro. Tall. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's get it. He did, and he came down and did it again, so I'm pissed, you know. So the next time down, see me on the breaking that pitch, and I jump up and I throw it down on him, right? I mean, he fouls me. And he said, hey, Rook, I like you. You got heart. He said, but I'm still getting 30 fouls. At this moment, he knew he fucked up. <laughs> I did, he does praying at this point right now. <laughs> and he said, hey, Rook, I like you. You got heart. He said, but I'm still getting 30 on your ass. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's who he was. But that was the only time he ever talked trash to me because he respected me because he knew that I was going to keep coming. That really taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, I was yeah, bro, you got to, hey, you got to show they got it. He not going to respect you as a rookie if you don't show you got it. You're a rookie. You have to earn your stripes, bro. It's just like in the army or anything in life. There's levels, bro. And yeah, he ain't going to respect you, especially for, for you to be a rookie. It's like, nigga, who are you? The fuck? He was like, bitch. <laughs> Take my goddamn hand, bitch. I don't know you. The fuck? Let's tell this, people, this story about Larry Bird. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, what are you talking about? He says, 
You guys are putting a white guy on me. Oh, no. <laughs> disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy you put I, on I, him? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he says, it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. He Larry Bird told Robert Reedy the other day that he should have stayed in preaching. And I'm going to just say, that I'm pretty sure Larry Bird cooked his ass too. <laughs> that was funny. He had 50 Pause. points. And you know, Larry Bird ain't never playing no great defense. He like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy, you can't shoot. But I'm not wearing ball guard. You. I said, man, shoot it in the face. Shoot it. Mark hit a three-pointer on Larry on Larry Bird and, uh, and, said, and said, said, take a look at that. And Damn. Bird just came right back and hit three three three-pointers in a row. Damn. And basically, and basically said to him, and we all heard it, that you're out of your league. It's like, all right, you hit one. All right, I'm going to shoot three, hit three from three. <laughs> you feel me? Easy. <laughs> bro, Larry Bird is such a savage, bro. He'd say, Danny, give me the ball, or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it. Mm -hmm. The ball went to Larry, and Isaiah was all out of, out of whack. He had the ball at three-point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? Everybody looked around. He just stood there, held the ball, and Isaiah said, oh, he ran out there and just shot it three-pointer. Too late. Was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. And then you sit there and you go, I'm just going up in my face talking noise. He ain't that fast. He's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you. Agi <laughs> your lips ashy. Your hair nappy. Shit. The fuck? <laughs> Face talking noise. He ain't that fast. He's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. Yeah. I was guarding in my rookie year. Keep he poking the bear. He goes, you can't stop me. And I look at him. I said, Gosh, boy, you're you're so confident. He goes, Confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He proceeded to score like ten straight points on me. The coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball Damn. in the corner. I take off running out at Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him. He tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And, he, and I go right by him. He shoots the ball. It's nothing but nylon. Nah, nah, nah. We got to throw hands, bro. Bro, how, <laughs> how are you tr talking trash, right? Mid-game, like mid-play. Someone is driving, like, Flying by, you trying to block your shot, and you're whispering to them while they're gonna shoot your shot, talking shit. Like, bro, that's hard as fuck. You know what the NBA should do, and I know they do it sometimes. We need to do it all the time. They need to take the best player on each team, put some mics on them, and just leave the mic on the entire game, and just hear the the conversations on the court. That's you know. That's what that's what the fans will want to hear. That's what I would want to hear, to be honest. You feel me? So yeah. Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. Larry Bird. There was a certain confidence you had because you know if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way. And yes. he delivered. The double team and bird. Larry fake. Fall away. Shot. Do you remember? Well, you had the bird night. I had the bird New night. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a tough night, man. Bird night. You know, the biggest argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. Yeah. You know? But did you, nobody was guarding bird, were they? Well, we were trying. You were trying no, to. Yeah, but when, when a guy is literally coming up to court calling his shots, uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that game, we're on the free throw line. And he's like, he literally says, um, left side over <laughs> the, across the three. And you're listening to him. That's that's a tough filler. Big but, bird. Okay, so you guys got Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello, I think. For, and, and Eddie Johnson for celebrating. Celebrating bird. Yeah, it was the best film session. Every time I see, when I see Mike, we still laugh. God, it's it was so a, good. It was the greatest film session ever because that back then you didn't have you know you watched the real game and just went you know with a video and mike rewound the celebration and the thing is watching it with this quality too you can't even see like their mouth moving you can't even hear anything so we're just like you're not hearing the conversation so you're not hearing the shit talking so like back then you don't have social media and whatnot so 
like you have to wait till like interviews or radio shows and whatnot to like hear about it. And you know, it does unless you're there in person, which more than likely you're not. So twenty times. He just kept re- not the shot, he just kept rewinding it. Showing the guys, you remember, they're giving each other high five. And then, and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, too. that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah, yeah that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter. Uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff gives each other <laughs> high five. And our film session was 20 minutes of that. Damn. So it, it was. It wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense on no, Bird. It was you it guys was, celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh, vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> and it, it, it was. Uh, <laughs> I think Bird oh. went by the bench one time, too. He fell in a bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, off the glass, into the trainer. And, uh, <laughs> no way. Yeah. Off the glass. So, uh, oh, my it was God. a bad night. And when Larry got on the roll, started shooting the ball, he said, every shot was going in. Goodbye, but, she's gone. I guess the two-pointer was too cool. Bro, when- Larry is so different, bro. That's... <laughs> I don't know. He definitely top 10. Top 10 of all time. Top by 10. The goes, that's I don't care, bro. Just see how hot Easily. I am. All right? It runs by Frank Layden, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench who can guard me? He goes, so nobody out here can. Damn. Frank looked down the bench and goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll look at you like, hey, what you doing out here? You better call somebody else. I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to grab me because I'm killing this guy. In last year's playoffs, person was out to make Bird eat it. Imagine being that guy, right? Just going to the opponent, like, coach and be, just be like, hey, listen, you need to you need to find a substitution because your mans can't guard me. You need someone better. Who on your bench can guard me? Pick someone because this one is not doing it. He might have gone to a coach and saying that. And the coach is like, damn, bro, he right. Like, shit, we can't do anything to stop him. We try double teaming, shit ain't working. Like, you know what I'm saying? My job is on the line. We're below 500. Like, shit. <laughs> uh. His words, while adding a few choice comments of his own. But, like, all jokes aside, though, I would hate to be a coach right now. These motherfuckers just be getting fired. Everyone be getting fired except for Darvin Ham. I don't know what he got over, like, Jenny, but, yeah, this motherfucker here is cannot get fired. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. You can see this. Bird stay talking shit. What the? F- it had something to say afterward. And look at Bird. Yeah, he's still talking. Person didn't dare look at him. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while, and we've always had run-ins, but uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> Bird's ability to get the final word has made for many a magic moment. And this week, we relive a game when Larry was in rare form, and Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. High game, 13 seconds to play, Celtics basketball, no shot clock. I heard the next, like, few years, like, the NBA planning on adding two more teams. I'm hearing, like, buzz about, like, Seattle, like, the Sonics, and, like, um... Las Vegas want to have a, a basketball team, which is a good idea, because Vegas is, come on, it's Vegas. I'm surprised they don't have their own basketball team. But LeBron is interested in owning that team. So we're going to see. We're going to see. I think he has to retire before owning the team. So we're going to see. They called the time out. He said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And during the time out, I'm going for a play. And I tried this for more run. All right. Uh, then she got the ball. You go over here. And uh, uh, you know, pass to Kevin, then you go to the corner, and Robert, you come over, then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? Well, Damn. after the time out, we, we walk back on the court, and Larry's going down to his position, so he tells the baby, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here, I'm going to shoot it right in your face. Bird has the basketball. Look out. Two seconds on the clock. 
two of them too. And, you know, he was like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I walked back to the left side line like, damn. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he will contribute in the clutch time. Larry was complaining to the refs. And I was complaining to the refs. And the next time down the court, it got in my face. I was up 38 to 6. That's how I summarize it. The 84 Olympic team is playing an exhibition game against a bunch of pros, including Larry Bird, and they were in the warm-ups. And a ball bounced down from the college end of the court to the pro end. And Michael Jordan went down to chase it. The ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird. Yeah. And Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over Jordan's head, as if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird, no. Damn. You mean to tell me Jordan got bitched by Larry? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. I'd have, bro, I just, I'd have swung at Larry, bro. He has ass that I've been kissing that pavement. Ain't no Fired way. it back down the court over Jordan's court. head. As if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. And he wants to get every edge he can get right now. I got a pool hamstring. Man, that's crazy. So I'm not playing tonight. He walks down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing. But I, he said, I'm going to tell you what, since you're here, I'm going to put a show on for you. <laughs> so you just sit back and watch, okay? And I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. Oh. want to hear that. You right. know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. Every time he hit one, he look at me. I remember we were playing that's uh, so petty, Washington bro. in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot, but KC called timeout. No. Larry came oh. back to the bench. You know, he was a little... I think I remember seeing this on the Ultimate Mixtape. Upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot. And I'm going to kick it in. He told Washington, I'm going to get the ball. Yeah. Two seconds left. The ball looks by a one. Oh. Aims to bird. He gets a good Different. shot. Different. Different. Boy, the first time it didn't count, he was like, all right, cool, whatever, I'm going to do it again. It's just like, this man is so different. Hey, that's it for this Indeed. video. Hey, that's it for this video. Um, Appreciate you guys for checking it out. Uh, also, like, subscribe, and comment your thought about this reaction, and I'll see you for the next one.